Good day and welcome to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we're going to talk about how you can get your hands on bartering bricks and basically what you can do with this currency. So bartering bricks are a new currency that came out with the advent of the Zaralek Caverns. Uh, you can also get a secondary currency called uh, bartering boulders but this is a bit later on in renown and I'll kind of cover this in a separate video. Now to unlock bartering bricks you will have to do a short quest line with a loam called Ponzo or a Niffin, I don't know what their race is called, but the little mole man uh, named Ponzo. Uh, you can do this quest beforehand but to unlock the bartering you have to be renowned rank 3 with the loam Niffin. Once you have that you'll be able to accept a quest from him and it will become a daily quest to achieve 10 bartering bricks. Now, to do this, you'll have to head back to Voldraken every day, where you'll receive your actual quests from Kayan. Now, Kayan is also a Niffin slash mole person. Uh, yeah. And Kayan will give you two quests every day. These quests will give you five barter bricks each. The first time you do the quest with her, you'll receive 10 bonus ones just from speaking to her, which is great. It'll leave you with 21. Yes, essentially you will get two quests from her. Uh, each of these quests will require you to buy or obtain or craft items from different professions. And I believe these will change every day. So uh, for the day I chose, for example, I believe it was the blacksmithing and cooking professions. So it's very important uh, to understand that this mechanism is quite, you know, quite well done. It basically enables... Uh, different professions to hopefully have a money-making item every now and then. Uh, also a method, of course, for them to complete the quest quite easy. Uh, so yeah, now to complete the quest is pretty straightforward. You have a couple methods. So either you can do the auction house, which is the most expensive but least time-consuming method, uh, which is always great. As you can see here, uh, a lot of people are starting to make some decent money on Draconium Fisher Friends, uh, during the week while this is relevant. The next step is to do craft orders. Now, I don't know if any of the goods will actually require craft orders. However, it is kind of good to, you know, have those down as an option, and especially if you have a guild. Craft orders or just requesting the items from your guild, you know, is a pretty good way. And then finally, the most labor-intensive method, but the absolute cheapest method, is to gather and craft the goods yourself. Now, obviously, if it's two professions, and let's just say it's not cooking one week, it's maybe tailoring, uh, it could potentially mean that you may have to use alts to complete quests. But generally speaking, uh, we'll have to see what happens in future. But in general, uh, I would say professions is nice. It's a good way to do it. Now, obviously, you might have to unlock the recipe or go through some process, so be aware of how to do that. And If you really need help, maybe check out my beginner's guide to crafting, uh, which takes you all the way up to rank 50 and 75, which I think a lot of players can appreciate. So anyway, once you obtain the items, it's relatively simple. Head back to the mighty city of Loam and trade these items in to complete your quest to receive your 10 barter bricks. Now you can do this every single day. So it's a really straightforward process. If you're someone who's dedicated or has a lot of money or is a very good crafter, uh, you should be able to get this done you know, quite, quite soon, quite quickly uh, and without a huge amount of problems. Now barter bricks and eventually barter boulders are a fantastic currency because they have quite a wide variety of uses uh, along with also being able to obtain of course a mount now one of the coolest uses for them is being able to buy additional buried dig maps these will allow you to go on more sniff and seeking slash dig events with myriad which is pretty cool there's also some drake scripts alongside as well knowledge for your actual professions themselves which is really cool there's also some interesting items here, uh, which could lead to some secret pets and items. Uh, and then we have a pet and a mount. Now the mount is one of the Manta Ray mounts, uh, the Boulder Hauler Reigns. Uh, and this is very similar uh, to the Niffin Loam Renown mount, uh, just kind of a different color. So 
it's a cool mount still nonetheless alongside that you also have a little cool cute little snail creature um which is really really cool now beyond that uh honestly speaking everything is pretty straightforward uh beyond those uses for barter bricks there's not too many uh barter boulders are something you'll unlock later on in the renowned track for the loam niffin and barter boulders are kind of just a updated version of barter bricks now if there's a different procedure for them uh, i'll cover them in a separate video otherwise i'll just adjust this video to include both uh, but we'll see when we get there but for now this is the best and only way you can obtain barter bricks so make sure you do your daily quest uh, and yeah that's it from me hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see you guys in the next one so until then as always take care stay safe and i'll see you guys soon but thank you so much for watching and bye